All right, so we're about to clean out our Mini Cooper because tomorrow we're giving it away to a complete stranger. And so we probably need to catch you guys up to speed on why and how that happened. So here we go. Good morning, everyone. So it is our last full day in the house, getting ready to drop off some more donations, had to stop and get breakfast. And when we were going through the drive-thru, as the girl was wrapping up our order and stuff, she said, oh, you guys have my dream car. And you know, we're in the Mini Cooper right now. And we were like, oh, well, we're looking at selling it, you know, pretty soon. And do you want to buy it? And she was like, oh, no, I don't have the money for that. And so we just kind of like all laughed and joked. And then she went on to the next car. And then Scott and I were like, we were talking. We were like, we should just give her our car. And so we like called her back after she helped the next person. And we were like, hey, we just want to give you our car. Can we get your number and all that stuff? So anyways, we got her number gonna text her set up a time to give her our car in the next month so tomorrow starts the next month get it all nice and clean for her and yeah give her our car <laughs> So our original plan was to keep uh, a Mini and then we could tow the Mini behind the bus. However, uh, the more we looked into it, um, towing a automatic Mini uh, just becomes difficult uh, because this one can't drive uh, manual. Hey, 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 there's plenty of others out there like me. <laughs> but um, so in order to tow uh, this Mini as, as an automatic, we'd have to get a dolly, which we would have to uh, mount to the bus and then drive the Mini onto the dolly. And just having the dolly just became another thing that we'd have to keep with us at all times. And so we're actually gonna be getting rid of the Mini, getting rid of our Elantra, and buying a vehicle that we can flat tow. But uh, we'll tell you about that in just a second. <laughs> Okay, good morning guys. Uh, to catch you up real quick with where we are at, uh, I have been finishing out this closet. Uh, I got all the drawers in, we did the top part, I stained that. Uh, I just kind of put a clear coat on it, uh, just so it kind of kept that whole uh, raw look. We were thinking about painting it white, but we decided to keep it raw. And uh, so now it's just got a clear polyurethane uh, coat on it. And then I have been working on our electrical closet. I've kind of just been roughing out where all the components are going to be mounted and today I'm going to start to try and wire up some of that. Uh, super thankful uh, for this community. Uh, just so many people that have just been helping me uh, with this electrical uh, setup. Um, had Will from uh, Number One Bus uh, actually give me a FaceTime last week, uh, just kind of walking me through it all. Uh, but all the guys that are just kind of on call, um, you know, I'm texting Alex, I'm texting Jay, texting Chase. Um, all these guys have just been super helpful uh, through this electrical um, component aspect of the build. Um, so yeah, just super grateful for this community. And so one thing that I just encourage you is if if you want to do van life or bus life and uh, uh, there's parts of it that scare you because you don't understand it. Um, I will say this community has just been great about uh, coming behind everybody and helping one another. And so if there's certain stuff that you don't know how to do, I'm sure there's somebody out there that can teach you how to do it. Okay, so I'm not able to do uh, a whole bunch of work on the electrical today uh, because basically I'm missing a few parts. Um, I'm missing some lugs to kind of attach all the wires and stuff. And so... Um, I'm just going to kind of be put on hold. I just ordered them and they should be here tomorrow or the next day. So hopefully I'll be able to get a jump on it then. Uh, but let me just kind of show you what we got going on right now. 
Okay, so as you guys know, we got our 12 volt, 200 amp hour lithium batteries by uh, Dakota, and we got three of those, so that's giving us 600 amp hours. Uh, so that's our battery setup. And then running in, uh, these are our solar cables right here. Uh, we have the uh, the 800 watts and the 200 watts. Again, we put them on separate systems just because we had uh, this charge controller, which was for the 800, and this can only handle 800 watts max. So we wanted an additional 200. So I just went ahead and bought this 20 amp charge controller. So basically we'll have two systems run in, into these breakers and into our charge controllers here. And then over here, uh, we have our Lynx distributor, which is basically our glorified bus bar. Uh, this will be running over uh, to our battery monitor. This will also be an off switch to a fuse into our batteries. Uh, this is our um, Orion uh, Smart uh, DC to DC charger. This is our 12 volt panel. And then this right here will be our regular breaker box uh, for our 120. Uh, so we got that coming in. Right now, I only have four circuits set up on this, and then these are all my 12 volt wires, uh, which will essentially be like our lights, our USB chargers, um, our water pump, our diesel heater, our fan, the stuff that's all running off 12 volt. And so that's our setup right now. Uh, like I said, I still got a few more components to add, uh, but that's basically our whole setup. Uh, so that's right here in this closet, which is opposite uh, to our clothes closet. And then I'm thinking what I'll do is once I run these wires here, I think I might actually build a like cabinet here box that we can kind of store uh, tools and uh, stuff in uh, that we might need on the road. So that's where we're at right now. Okay, the car is clean. Now we are on the way to the DMV uh, to meet the new owners uh, to transfer over the title. Okay, so we just gave the Mini away, and now we are actually on our way to pick up another vehicle. <laughs> uh, so what's funny though is that we actually came in the Mini, uh, which means we don't have a vehicle right now. <laughs> so, so we're we actually going to get a Uber <laughs> to go get the other vehicle. It's going to be an Uber cool day! Okay guys, this is our new ride! So yeah, the reason we got the Jeep is uh, because we wanted a vehicle that we could flat tow. And so we decided, you know what, let's get a Jeep uh, so then we can flat tow it. And then also, it's also a good vehicle to have um, whenever we're traveling, you know. It can go off-road, it's 4x4, it's got a lot of benefits to it as a uh, vehicle. And since we'll only have that vehicle and the bus, uh, we wanted to make sure that it would be a good vehicle for everything that we want to do. And so, yeah now have a Jeep for part of our family. Uh, so we have Honey, and we might need a name for the Jeep. So if you got any ideas, uh, put them in the comments. And so today we are gonna be working on uh, the closets. Um, I already got like one door pretty much built, and so I'm gonna show you that, and then we're gonna get to work on the other doors. Um, I have put the electrical on hold, and hopefully we'll be able to get to that soon. Uh, but for now, working on cabinet doors. <laughs> Heavy load, 
got under your skin All in You got the white knuckles Holding on a tie Keeping your feelings Bottled up inside Heading for a collision In the night To really live You gotta die Breathe it Okay, I'm gonna let that dry. Probably just go take a little tea break and then we'll come back out and I'll show you what the design of the doll look like. Looks like. Colors, colors, Okay, so let's go take a look at the design of the door. Um, as you can see, uh, we kind of wanted to go with like a pretty simple door. However, we wanted some design aspect to it. So uh, we're gonna paint it this solid color. It's it's kind of like a um, kind of like almost like a raw wood color is what we was trying to go for. Uh, just something light. And then obviously you can see the design with all the different strips that we have. Uh, we just thought we, we just wanted something more than just like a solid door. So we just thought by uh, putting these strips of wood in, it would just add some like dimension, some texture. Uh, to it and so we're gonna have, have this as our closet door one on the other side and then we'll add some uh, cool hardware we'll probably add the um, the gold hardware to match the bedroom hardware on the on the big closet and then we're gonna do the same design uh, like this on the electrical closet and right now we're looking at doing three uh, doors on the electrical closet so then we'll have two for the electrical component and then one for like the cleaning component Put your glasses on. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> All right, friends. Um, I'm gonna show you what we're working on. Super exciting. So right now we, um, you know, have been building from the back all the way forward, and we're about to put another wall up. So we have this side wall of the closet done, but we're about to house a wall right here by our emergency exit door. Exciting! 